Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Heather and I am so happy to have you here. Um, in today's video, we are just jumping straight in. We have so much ground to cover in this video. Um, my son had been sick, so I'm getting everything cleaned up and disinfected. And then I'm trying out a new product to deep clean my grout. So definitely stay tuned for that. I think it turned out great. And then I am painting over some dry wall, dry wall repair. That is a very hard word to say. Um, so just kind of a little bit of everything. It was just a crazy week. Um, so anyways, my son got sick over spring break. He, we think he had the flu. We did test him for COVID. It was negative. We tested him twice, so definitely negative. Um, but he had been throwing up and running a fever and yeah, the day he finally went back to school, he wasn't running a fever, and so he was feeling better, and I just needed to get into that room and disinfect absolutely everything. So I have the disinfecting wipes and the Lysol spray, and I washed all of his bedding, including the pillows, on super high heat with all the stuff in there to get everything sanitized and just sanitizing his bathroom. So the night that my son got sick, he had woken up in the middle of the night throwing up. The poor thing could not make it to the bathroom fast enough. And unfortunately, he threw up in his room on the carpet. So my husband cleaned it all up as best as he could that evening. And then I steam cleaned the carpet the next day, so the next afternoon. And I thought that would take care of it. And it did not. Like the next day, next few days, like it, there was still like this strong odor of throw up in his room. I know, super, super gross. So before I even came back on this day to steam clean for a second time, I had soaked the whole area in, I think it was like, 30% vinegar, but like I did half vinegar, half water. So whatever that is. And it smelled very, very strong of vinegar. And of course that smell dissipates. And I thought, surely this will take care of it and just eat into that odor. And um, it helped. And then, so I went back and I'm steam cleaning here and I went over it multiple times and then I did a rinse cycle on it and then I went back and sucked up just the water um, so I spent a lot of time so this is the first pass of just cleaning and then what I'm about to show next is the pass for the rinse so that's the rinse so it got up a lot and it smelled fine for like a day or two and then I noticed that it still smells sour so we're having someone come in and professionally get them done anywho we are moving on to my kitchen my grout in my kitchen is 
really dirty and grimy. So what I'm showing here is probably what it's supposed to look like, like a very, very light, light gray. And then kind of in the high traffic areas, it is a darker gray. So I picked up this Zep Miracle Grout Cleaner and Protectant. And I've never used it before. I wanted to try it out. Um, I like Zep products. So I have not cleaned my grout in about three years or so. Um, I've tried a few different things, um, but I thought this can't hurt. Um, so the instructions is you're just supposed to spray it and let it sit for two to three minutes. I do not follow instructions probably ever. Um, so I actually came in and scrubbed it. It did not say that you have to scrub it at all, but I chose to scrub it and then you just wipe it up. Um, I also came back in and I got a bucket with just hot water and a microfiber cloth to kind of rinse off any residue that may be left. Um, I didn't want that getting on like the bottoms of our feet or my dog's paws. Um, but even just whenever I was wiping it up after I had scrubbed it with a paper towel, like you could tell, like, and I had mopped right before I did this. So the floors are supposed to be clean at this point. But even with on that paper towel, like you could tell there was dirt on it. So it was definitely working. Um, I did it two to three minutes the first section. And this section, um, you probably can't tell because I edited it out some things. But I did let it sit longer, like five minutes. Um, so I do think letting it sit longer is... Um, actually worked better. And next time I do it, I may even let it sit 10 minutes. Like it didn't bleach it out or anything. Um, I feel safe letting it sit on my grout for 10 minutes, but definitely follow the instructions. Um, I don't want you ruining your grout or anything. Um, but I've cleaned it so many times and I haven't ruined it yet. So, um, and it worked great. Like my grout will never look new again, but it was definitely several shades lighter. Um, I think kind of in the very, very high traffic area where it's kind of like a triangle in between our sink, our trash can, and our refrigerator. Um, I may go over that again and let that sit for 10 minutes. Um, but I don't necessarily have to. It definitely looks a lot better. My floors look so much cleaner. They were really, really looking bad and bothering me. So um, this was a lot of hard work. I was sweating up a storm. I probably should not have worn a sweater when I was doing this. Um, but it took me about an hour to do, I would say, like the main traffic areas in my kitchen. I didn't do over by my bar stools. I didn't do kind of back behind the kitchen table area. Those areas were not bad, so I wasn't going to worry about it on this pass. I just wanted to get hit those main areas, and there is definitely an improvement. So I definitely would recommend this product. So if you are new here, I would absolutely love it if you dropped a comment and said hello down there. I would absolutely love the opportunity to say hi back. Even if you're a returning viewer, I absolutely love all your comments and seeing them and saying hi to everybody. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I know there's so many other things that you could be doing and I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me when y'all watch my videos and like and comment. Um, it's just an awesome thing for me. I told you if we dance in the blizzard, we are not getting cold. So keep on dancing, baby.
Y'all, I got a new vacuum. It's the Black & Decker Fur Buster. That is a mouthful. <laughs> um, anyways, it's just like a little handheld vacuum. And what I wanted on it was the attachment that actually has a roller brush for my couches and my stairs. So I actually bought this several weeks ago and I have just not gotten around to unboxing it. And today was the day, so I'm just getting everything set up. Um, I think I got it for about like $50 at Walmart. And yeah, I so far I am absolutely loving it. I have tried it out on multiple couches and the stairs. Now, of course, in true Heather fashion, I am so eager to get a project started that I don't prep and I did not plug it in once I initially unboxed it. So I actually had to stop about halfway up the first flight of stairs and then go plug it in and I let it um, charge overnight. So if you buy one of these, just don't rush plug it in, let it fully charge, and then come back and vacuum to your heart's content. And my husband was like, do you not have enough vacuums? And I'm like, sir, do you not have enough tech gear? So <laughs> I'll leave you alone about your tech stuff. Leave me alone about my cleaning stuff. Um, he just thinks I'm silly about all of this, but he definitely appreciates all of my efforts in keeping our house tidy. Now this blue couch up here in the game room that really never gets used except by my dog and there was dog hair all over it and I have used like my Tenko vacuum. Um, it just was not getting it up. I like, I don't know if like just the head of that vacuum is just too big and is not getting a close enough suction kind of on the curves of the cushions. Um, but this did an amazing job and so i'm trying it out here in the media room as well uh, my kid has loved hanging out in here recently so lots of crumbs and all sorts of snacky stuff and he was also chilling in here while he was sick so um, just needed to tidy up in here and test this new vacuum out and i'm in love with it i think it's definitely worth the 50 bucks So I am in my son's bathroom and this is actually me redoing this bathroom, painting and installing all of the new hardware. This is all the footage that I had lost. Um, I think it was like two weeks ago. I was absolutely devastated, um, learned my lesson. Hopefully I will not click on whatever I clicked on before to delete my whole video. Um, but anyways, we had that big mirror that, you know, it was just a builder grade mirror that they had glued on the wall and I wanted to replace it with something nicer. So we did have someone come in and remove that mirror and patch everything and spray new texture on the wall. And so what I'm kind of washing off the wall is where the, I feel like they sprayed a little too far. So I'm just kind of feathering out some of that texture so that it blends in a little better with what the texture that was already there. And then, um, although it does look the same color, it's not, um, I am going back and painting over all that new texture. Um, so I'm just going to show you the first coat because the second coat, well, the first coat, you can't even really tell, but the second coat, you definitely can't tell. Um, and man, that texture, like seriously soaked up the paint. It was absolutely crazy. Um, but so glad that we were finally able to get that done and we can wrap up this bathroom. I feel like I've spent so much stinking time on this bathroom. I'm ready to be completely done with it and so glad we are at the finish line.
So I'd gotten the second coat on, everything had dried, and just getting his whole bathroom put back together, I did just pick up the mirror from Home Depot, so my husband still has to hang that. But other than that, everything is finished in here. It is definitely feeling so much brighter and fresher in here. Um, we are still considering doing the countertops and going from two sinks to one, um, but that's something we're going to have to price out and figure out if that is in our budget or not. Um, yeah, this bathroom just so much better. I'm so glad it's done. It has been such a pain in the you know what. Um, but we are moving on to my bathroom. There was also two little spots where we had previously had um, a towel bar hung. And years ago, whenever we redid our shower, uh, we took that towel bar down because it was actually hanging really high. It was not like a height at where you would normally want to go and grab for a towel. It was just really, really awkward. And so it had like the anchors still in the wall we couldn't get those out and what they did was they just punched them in patched over it and retextured everything so again they kind of went a little crazy on the texture so i'm just trying to remove some of the overspray and feather it out a little bit and then come in with some touch-up paint and just make it look like it never happened just one glass in you're already on my mind when it gets late i always realize that feelings are you thinking about me too tonight mm -hmm. your hands around my waist just let the music play like a drug i am hooked on you sweeter than summer wine baby just hold me tight like a drug i am hooked on you So this is the next day. The second coat has completely dried and just getting everything put back together, getting the picture back on the wall. But thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. I seriously appreciate it. And I will see you next time. At the end of time, I know that.